Hi, I'm NASA Kennedy's Bobby Guthrie, and I'm outside KSC, taking you inside KSC. NASA, Boeing, and United Launch Alliance scrubbed this week's launch of Orbital Flight Test 2, or OFT2, due to unexpected valve position indications in the Starliner's propulsion system. Boeing's CST-100 Starliner spacecraft was scheduled to launch atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The new launch date has not been determined. The OFT-2 mission will be an end-to-end -end test of the Starliner spacecraft from launch to docking to atmospheric re-entry in a desert landing in the western United States. It will pave the way for the crew flight test, Starliner's first crewed mission to the space station with NASA astronauts Barry Butch Wilmore, Mike Fink, and Michael Mann on board. At Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, preparations continue for next month's launch of Landsat 9. The launch will continue the nearly 50-year legacy of previous Landsat missions when it lifts off September 16, 2021, atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 3 at Vandenberg. The launch is managed by NASA's Launch Services Program based at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Once fully commissioned in orbit, Landsat 9 will replace Landsat 7 and join its sister satellite Landsat 8 to collect images from across the planet every eight days. With Landsat's medium spatial resolution, researchers are able to harmonize the images to detect the footprint of human activities and their impact on climate over the decades. For more Inside KSC, check us out on social media and at nasa.gov Kennedy.